with my little sister's pet hamster by throwing him at the ceiling. When I was little, there was dishes in the sink and I peed on all of them. Legit. What? <laughs> Yo. Yep, that's me. What is good, YouTube? It is Super C. We're back again with another banger. Now, today, I told you guys, send me some weird, deep, dark, or deep secret confessions that y'all want to send me, you know? And um, a lot of y'all sent some. So, we're about to go through this and read some of these. This person said, I used to eat ranch and cheese for a living mixed together. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. That's a crush on my ex's best friend. Um, This person said, I in the bathroom at school whoa bro <laughs> i my best friend i'm guessing you talk about view effing because a lot of y'all are like 10 so i know <laughs> i know for a fact you're not talking about real life i got a crush on you said hey soup i have a confession i just wanted to get it off my chest and say i'm the baddest b really the realest b you'll ever come across thanks for listening when i was seven i used to search up girls shaking their butt until my mom caught me <laughs> and i got my a b dang <laughs> what my confession is that i'm in love with my best friend so i try to steal her boyfriend so they wouldn't be together you kind of messed up man that's kind of messed up deep confession one day me and my cousin were playing with a slingshot at like one at one o'clock in the morning and we accidentally hit our neighbor's pool and the pool busted open and flooded their basement by the way we never got caught dang bro y'all are some bad kids dude i never told anyone this but when i was like eight i walked in my mother's room and ate all it was some weird candy she normally bring home and i couldn't ish it out <laughs> what there used to be a girl that wanted to hang out with me and my friend but my friend and i would never let her hang out with us and we would call her weird stuff we were like seven or eight ish and one day she didn't come to school and that day my teacher told us she she had gotten cancer so i felt really bad and, and never made fun of her and apologized to her later and that's that's good for you though that's good for you i laughed at a special needs person as they chased me down a hallway <laughs> what <laughs> yo no way bro you can't be doing that bro on the low i made love with a shorty in the backyard mm, yeah all right hey soup i saw your recent post and i love to say first that i adore your content and your personality keep it going don't give up love now my deepest confession is that i ended up having s in school having ish like you do doo dooed in school or something <laughs> like what you trying to say i was too nervous to allow the person to enter there oh okay you saying you had you you had the you did it in school basically you know and y'all re really was like playing around okay he's like uh okay just kept it safe i was so mad and excited and embarrassed at the same time because we were you know before all of it happened i thought i was ready but no sis i wasn't they just kept playing with their fingers and da 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 so we both had to leave the bathroom and we were in a boys bathroom yep never again but i graduated thank goodness hey yo shout outs to you i was kind of confused at first because i'm like did she talk about she doodled in the bathroom she embarrassed about that like what's going on like everybody had to poop but oh you talking about the thing you do you was trying to do the thing in the bathroom i mean bro a lot of these stories a lot of these confessions is y'all doing it in school bro i knew it uh so when when i was about nine years old i my little sister's pet hamster by throwing him at the ceiling it was an accident and when he <laughs> when he came back down i realized he was so I threw him out the window and when my sister came home she wasn't there wait she asked where he was I said I don't know yeah I haven't told her it was me to this day you messed up my deep confession is that one day when I was 10 I kissed my sister we didn't think it was a big deal da 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 about 15 later my mom left da 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 oh dang y'all was oh you was trying to oh hold up bruh oh no nah. uh-uh we don't mess with that this is not sweet home alabama hold up we do not do that you said we got y'all got calling y'all got your a's beat yes that's 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 correct y'all should have good job good job good job good mom one of my deep confessions that one day i was snapping on this dude and he wanted me to come over so me acting like a bad boo i went over and when i got there i was confused just saying i was freaking 10 10 minutes wait would you 10 or is it 10 minutes started stripping i was still confused then i remember my mom told me he said if you see a man boy taking his clothes off run so i did and i went home and i blocked him and deleted snapchat and i never told my parents because i was scared ah uh, okay yeah a lot of y'all is getting in these situations and running you did a good job though you did a good job your mom taught you good and you listen but uh hey that's that's crazy bro that's crazy before my mom passed i told myself i wouldn't care if she died i was really mad i was like 12 and then the next month she passed away from drinking alcohol dang that's crazy i'm that's i'm so sorry for your deep confessions video i eat cheese in the dark and watch door okay i mean i don't know what to say to that my ex told me she wanted to get back together and i'm over her but then i started talking to her again out of boredom that's up bro some of y'all some of y'all used to live in a hotel but now i'm living in a big house that's cool
that's what's up you know moving on up confession i've been dating a guy for over two weeks and my parents still don't know about him Ooh, mom want to tell the parents are you not allowed to date or something is that why, is that why? Hmm. i've had a crush on my boyfriend my best friend boyfriend then he kissed me and we never told her he broke up with her and tried to get with me i said no he blackmailed me now we no longer friends dang he tried to blackmail you so he was trying to get with you just the same as you was trying to get with him like, uh. when i was little there was dishes in the sink and i peed on all of them legit what <laughs> yo peed on dishes bro what put my pants on accident dang man that's crazy it happened i remember this one time i was in elementary school there was this one kid i don't know if this nigga took laxative literally as soon as he got off the bus i guess he couldn't hold it he was holding his booty and he was running off the bus and he had doo-dooed on the concrete and it was like doo-doo a doo-doo streak all the <laughs> all the way to the to the, to the bathroom the men's restroom and i remember everybody was trying to make fun of him and they was like we hear you talking about the situation that happened this morning you get detention or something like that like they didn't want nobody talking about it since it was a small school and everybody knew you know, but that was just, that was kind of funny bro when you gotta go you gotta go though you said i got my finger stuck in the toilet how you get your finger stuck in a toilet? How, how do you, what? What? Here goes my deep confession. What did me doing this if it wasn't anonymous? LOL. When I was 14 on a family trip, my cousin locked me in a room. Whoa. Luckily, my sister started banging on the door, save all the belting. But then my whole family fought over it. And I, to I was told it was my fault for making it worse. I was known at school for being the what? Because someone overheard me talking about it. And the rumors are, anywho, thank you. See, that's why you don't talk about those type of things in school. Because people, you said when I, when you was 14. But um, that's why you don't talk about those type of things in school. Because like some people are insensitive. People come from all types of backgrounds. Niggas do not care. They'll tell other people and then it'll spread, you know? And that's crazy. Um, Yo, your cousin who tried to do the you know what to you. I ain't going to say the word because that type of stuff gets me demonetized. But cousin who did that, he gonna he gonna pay for that. He, I tried a woohoo myself twice. I wrote a, a woohoo letter, and all my siblings laughed. I had a crush on this girl. I was dating her friend. I started hanging out, talking to this girl till 3 p.m. I asked her, "Do you like me?" And she said, "Ew, no." My heart felt shattered, so I shut off all contact. Then felt guilty, so I broke up with my girlfriend. Found a new girlfriend, and she truly makes me happy. She's a effing idiot, but in a good way. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up that you move past that, you know. Ooh, my cousin. When my mom found out I got my age, I got a little sweet. Home Alabama's I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Because it is anonymous, so ain't nobody gonna know. When I was about 13, 14, I was getting bullied so bad in school that I started to catfish people on the internet. I thought it would be easy to pretend to be someone else instead of being myself, since no one liked my actual self. I ended up dating a lot of older guys, and they never found out because I would eventually ghost them. It's mad crazy, but yeah. That's my confession. When I got older though, I realized catfishing was corny and you feel a lot better when you're just yourself. You always find people who think the same like you and like you for who you are. Thanks for reading if you came across this. Shout outs to you, I'm not gonna say your name cause it is anonymous. I was like, if you're a catfish, you know, just do better. Learn from the experience. Of course, no one knows your actual identity. If you're catfishing, you're saying you're this and that. Start over and then do better. Hi Suba, I love you so much. Anyway, my deep confession is that whenever I say the ish, Ever I ish, I say the power of s what? It isn't that deep, but I thought it might be fun. But seriously, my deepest confession would be that I'm so deep in my friend zone that she dents me nudes to be sure that the photo was pretty enough to send her a boyfriend. Kind of embarrassing. Dang, man. I ish myself when I couldn't make it to the bathroom. Deep confession, my ex ghosted me, so I linked with his best friend. And I told all of his friends that he ghosted and they all attacked him. And now every time he follows someone new, I tell them, dang. I ate my auntie's chicken and lied and said it was my cousin and she got her ab no bro my grandma died of bladder cancer on may 14 wanted to the doctor for not making her stay alive so i just yelled at them i'm glad you didn't go off on them and try to you know i have this one boyfriend best friend or boyfriend like a while ago we had each other's accounts one time he pissed me off so i texted niggas on his account and made it seem like he was gay not gonna lie it was fun and then someone reported him lmao dang <laughs> you messed up you messed up for that one for the deep confessions vid when i was like younger nine or ten i used to trace art and i found off the internet and claim it as my own and whenever people call me out for it because i used to have an insta i would start beef with them and i would block them until i got bored all right i think that's it i think that's pretty much it that's literally it um i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's pretty much all the confessions that i got so far i'm pretty sure more are gonna come later on that's usually how it be if i kept this up for a week i probably have tons of confessions but um yeah these are pretty much all the confessions uh hopefully y'all all move past those things um doing better i just hope everybody's moving past those things and doing better and Life, you know that's all i gotta say about that one if y'all like the video give it a thumbs up and yeah to the next video peace